Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. With the recent changes that Autodesk has been making to Fusion 360's free account capability, I, along with apparently a lot of other people, have started looking for other alternatives. For me, I am going to start exploring FreeCAD. Uh, I have looked at it, poked around the edges. It is an open source solution that I think is going to suit my needs, and I don't see it having a continuation of restriction that is happening in Fusion 360. So directly to the point, and the title of the video is what's up with all these workbenches and, and how do I simplify that? This is a default installation of FreeCAD, and if I click the workbench list, there are a lot of them. And part of, you know, reducing anxiety around learning all of this stuff is figuring out which ones of these do I really need and how do I get the rest of them out of my face. So for me, I do mostly uh, engineering style drawings, things I can cut on my CNC machines. Um, so there are some things here like, well, robot and ship that are just visual clutter to me. I don't need to see them. So how do we reduce this list down to just the things we need and, and how do we figure out what the things we need really are? So first things first, if we go to Tools and Customize, there's a tab for Workbenches. And you can see that the default installation has all of the workbenches enabled. I would love to encourage someone to change this because there are items on this list that are no longer even used. As an example, this workbench right here called Complete, it is deprecated and not needed. So let's remove it by clicking the back arrow button. For me, and this doesn't necessarily apply to everybody, but for me, uh, point cloud modeling, I'm not going to do ray tracing, I'm not going to do robots, truly cool, uh, check it out if, you, if that interests you. Um, uh, I'm not going to use right now, I don't build ships. The test framework item, this is for testing the actual uh, FreeCAD uh, tool itself, so I'm not adding code, so I don't need that. Um, and the web toolbox, or the web workbench, excuse me, is for, it's an introduction, it's got some components for creating web tools with uh, FreeCAD, so I don't need that either. You can see right away I've removed seven items from my visual search, and we aren't even getting into things like... Uh, the FEM tool for, um, uh, I think this is for stress analysis. I don't need that. Uh, make that go away. Mesh design. Um, and, and mesh design, maybe, uh, if I want to do things with uh, drawings from, like, say, SketchUp, which uses uh, uh, mesh style modeling, I might want this. But for now, I'm going to turn it off. This is not a permanent deletion. This is just removing them from the list of things that I have to look through to figure out what's important to me. How did I figure out which ones I didn't want and what all these were? Super simple. You go to your favorite browser. You go to your favorite search engine. I use DuckDuckGo. And I typed in FreeCAD and the name of the workbench. Very high up in the list will be a very short one or two sentence description of what the workbench does. Generally from there I can figure out that I'm not going to be building ships so I don't need that workbench. For others I might keep. A big for instance and probably part of a future uh, video is part or part design. You know I know one came before the other. Do I really need them both? Not sure yet. Plot I haven't quite looked at yet. Might be one I want to get rid of. So to make these changes active, I have to restart FreeCAD. So I'm just going to, there's no save button here. I just click close. I'm going to close FreeCAD. I'm going to open her back up. And now when I go to the list of workbenches, it is significantly shorter. Less, uh, less bites of the elephant. Things I don't, <laughs> don't want to eat the hoof. So hope that helped everybody. Uh, I know that uh, for my users, when I'm only giving them the tools that they need to do their job, it is a lot easier for them to learn and get involved. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you're welcome to subscribe. Most of my videos are not screencasts. Uh, you cruise over to my channel, you can see the kinds of things I do. Appreciate your time. Uh, good luck with FreeCAD. Talk to you later.